burning body fat drives LDL synthesis, then excess is eliminated. Dr. Nadir Ali. So what are these amazing ketone molecules? Out here is shown on the left of the screen a person who's on a standard American diet who's burning predominantly sugar in his brain. But when you're on low-carb diet or doing fasting, the brain adapts and turns two-thirds of its use to ketones, showing that it becomes fat-adapted. Man's entry into life and the reason that we are still alive is because we are capable of ketosis. The metabolism of human new newborn is essentially ketotic. Blood glucose level falls strikingly in the neonate, and concentrations of beta-hydroxybutyrate rise to about two to three millimoles. The newborn brain consumes 60 to 70% of total metabolism at birth, nearly half from beta-hydroxybutyrate. Fitting in with this pattern is maternal colostrum, it contains much triglycerides, proteins, and very little lactose, starting man entry into society on an Atkins diet. <laughs> so here is a liver cell. Since you're not eating carbs, you're fasting. The carbs are reserved for the brain. The liver cell is converting fat into ketones. The enzymatic machinery that's making ketones in us involves HMG-CoA, which is a branch point, at which point it gets diverted to making either ketones, but it can also make cholesterol. HMG-CoA, beta-hydroxy, beta-methylglutarol, coenzyme A, an intermediate in the mevalonate and ketogenesis pathways. It is a metabolic intermediate in the metabolism of the branch chain amino acids. BCAAs. This figure is a little bit more elegant for people who want to see the molecular structure of these molecules, but you can see that as fatty acid is entering the liver, it's getting converted to acetyl-CoA, then becomes HMG-CoA, which is the branch point that makes either ketones or makes cholesterol. So by design, if you get very good at fat burning, design you're going to increase your cholesterol levels. So here is a little animation. The liver is synthesizing a lot of cholesterol in somebody who's predominantly fat burning. And as it is making more LDL cholesterol, it's also eliminating cholesterol in bile and through the gut. The terminal, terminal ileum is the one that reabsorbs the bile, but less of it is reabsorbed, so more of it gets out in the feces. So by design, since the liver is synthesizing more cholesterol, it's going to produce more LDL. It's also going to produce more bile for elimination. Now, it was pointed out that the oxidized LDL is the culprit. The oxidized LDL gets taken up by the macrophage through the scavenger receptor. And there are human studies and animal studies that show that in a person on a low-carb diet, the elimination of this scavenger receptor filled macrophage is much greater in the feces in a low-carb individual. Now, this is another point that I was shocked about. The liver is making a lot of cholesterol, and so it is not going to take any of the LDL back into it because it doesn't need it. That there is LDL receptor down regulation. These are the receptors that are picking up the LDL and removing it from circulation, but since the liver already has the cholesterol that it needs, it down regulates them. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.